going on guys? I thought that I would just post a uh, video here. Um, Nintendo just kind of sprung this uh, release today. They announced it at their Nintendo Direct and then it was just instantly it was on the, uh, the store. So let me show you here. The game's called NES Remix. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, Uh, I know that it's a series of NES games. I think there's 12 games total. Uh, I don't know the capture card, so I just I don't know how well, how good this is gonna look. But I just thought I would uh, just record me trying this out. I'm playing on the Wii U gamepad, so it's not gonna be too easy. Uh, I think the ideal way to play this would be on the uh, um, on the on the Wii mote or with the classic controller. Actually, even the uh, Pro, the Wii U Pro controller would be pretty good too. So we'll give this a try. I know it's a series of like like portions of twelve different games, and uh, NES controls handwritten Miiverse. Okay. Um, so it looks like the first one starts off as uh, Mario Brothers. Defeat fifteen enemies with star power. Um, there we go, I'm just trying to figure out the buttons here. Ah, this is <laughs> very awkward playing with the gamepad. And that's pretty awful. Okay, let's see if I can get the hang of this a little bit. So used to doing like a speed run, but usually avoiding the uh, uh, enemies. I don't exactly know their patterns because I'm I'm just so used to avoiding them. It's uh, a little tougher to figure out exactly where they're going to be to to actually hit them. So yeah, I cleared that stage. Um, Two stars because I died, obviously. So, um, okay, so I unlocked six NES games. Kind of cool. I guess that was just a bit of a teaser, the first little level there, just to kind of break you in. Um, next up is uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. The original Mario Brothers, Excite Bike, Balloon Fight, and Super Mario Brothers. It's uh, it's scrolling through all these on its own. I can't. I'm not controlling this. Balloon Fight's an extremely underrated NES game. I love it. I love Balloon Fight. So now it's circled back. Okay, so that first stage was actually a remix stage. You can see the different graphic style there. Um, not sure how to explain that. Um, a little less pixelated. Uh, colors are different. Kind of cool. Uh, I'm guessing this gets hard as balls eventually. Let's try out this Donkey Kong stage. Okay, uh, pretty straightforward here. It's, on, it's only the D-pad for Mario, so... Oh, no, actually, jump. I'm not talking about. Jump over three barrels. <sighs> I'm actually not bad at Donkey Kong. Like I said, this takes some getting used to the u Okay. Not the one so good. Third time's a charm, thank you very much. That was pretty bad. Break two barrels. So pretty easy stuff so far. Uh, the the real trick here is kind of the the meta game in this is to get um, uh, three stars on each level. And actually, from what I saw, I think you can get beyond three stars, like three golds, or uh, I think it's three rainbow stars or something crazy like that. Your time is uh, really good. This is very awkward on the uh, 
gamepad. So it's real fast paced, just little bite sized chunks of these games. I still got three stars in that one, that's pretty lucky. And then I believe your coins unlock uh, new games once you get a certain amount of coins, I would, I believe. Then you, uh, or starters maybe. Let's see what that stamp does. Um, just a collection, I guess. Kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the balloon fight one is. kind of quickly shows you the, uh, the buttons, just the D-pad and B. So it's pretty easy to begin with. I uh, this game is 15 bucks by the way. It's a little bit steep. I just I'm not sure how much content is in this. 12 games and probably what 10 stages? Well, 13 for each game, and then you get all the remix stages, which I believe are are uh, super hard. Let's try the Excite Bike one here. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, so A is normal, then I think B is like turbo. Okay. Let's give this a try. Hold A. Um, that was <laughs> a joke. Get to the finish line, watch out. So I'm assuming there'll be some obstacles. Yep. More obstacles. So three stars, I did that pretty quickly. I wonder what you have to do to get the rainbow star. Unlock the new stage. Okay, so remix stage number two, I'm gonna go directly there and see which one it is. And it's Donkey Kong stage. Give that a try. Get to the top, so this should be just finish the level. Uh, there's not even any barrels. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, Jesus, hit the wrong button. Pretty bad. Pretty terrible. A's jump, you dummy. Oh! So you get three lives, I think, if you use a life. Let me see, actually. No, I still got three stars, so... You get three chances, even if you do die, you, you still can uh, th uh, triple star it, so... Um, I believe if you use a continue, it might take away a star automatically. Got another stamp. So this, so far, this game's kind of cool. A really small, bite-sized times. You can probably, well, hopefully you can compare your times with uh, people over the Nintendo Network, or your friends. Let's try the original Mario 
brothers here. Okay, so D pad and A. Flip an enemy. Pretty simple. Kick enemies while they're down and just run into them. So it's kind of cool, it teaches you the mechanics. got like a uh, uh, WarioWare kind of feel to it. I think that the uh, the uh, the menus and stuff are, are pretty cool. Um, yeah, anybody who hasn't played the old stuff, this would be really cool. And uh, even for me, who somebody who owns all these games, um, I mean, you can post stuff to the Miiverse. That's kind of cool. It'd be interesting if they released a series of these. Fifteen bucks is a little steep. Ninety-nine would have been a really great price on this. Um, it'd be cool if they did a series. This one's called Number One, so I believe. And uh, maybe eventually include some more obscure games. Would be kind of cool. Games that uh, not many people have. Um, Fire and Ice or Snow Brothers, stuff like that would be kind of cool. I didn't even watch, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just going to talk. So yeah, it's pretty simple to begin. So unlock the new remix stage. I kind of like how they're doing this. Um, they kind of slowly trickle you the uh, the remix stages. Unlock a new stamp. Okay, so you can use the stamps in uh, Meverse posts. That's kind of cool. So let's check out that the next remix stage. It's a uh, Super Mario Brothers stage. Run, get Mario to the goal pole. Okay, so it's it's actually running on its own, and all I'm pressing is uh, the jump button. Ah. Shit. This is tough. It actually it runs for it. all I'm doing is pushing the uh, the jump button. So it kinda messes up your timing. And I saw that coming. So game over. If you go to continue Okay, puts you right back in. Maybe if I add a few jumps here, I can mix up the time. Oof! That was close. <laughs> this is getting tough. Ah! Try it. You gotta do a small jump there so you don't hit the fish. Uh, this is a lot tougher than it looks already. Lucky there. Yeah, that's that's hard. I think I'll end it there. Anyways, this is NES Remix. Um, so far, I guess I could say I recommend it. Um, Fifteen dollars, a bit steep. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna get super hard. So if you're one of those people that uh, enjoys the challenge of uh, retro or older games, 
Um, this might be for you. 15 bucks, it should be my. It's a little steep, but uh, I thought it looked really cool. So, um, yeah, that's NES Remix 1. Um, yeah, like I said, the design's pretty cool. I like the way that they've done it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, check out the Facebook page in the link below. And uh, stay tuned for the room tour. Almost finished shooting it, and uh, it'll be posted probably within the next week. Probably end up being two parts, so uh, stay tuned for that. Later.